Hi, I'm Timo Helmers, and eight months ago I started using MetaHuman Creator. A lot has happened since then, so let's take another look. YouTuber Timo Helmers tries to create himself. Well, thank you, Cold Fusion TV. But now let's talk about what has changed since then. We've kind of seen an explosion of metahumans all over the internet. Because they're so easy to use, I guess. From Universal Monsters to The Matrix Awakens, of course, most recently. And maybe you've even spotted them in a BMW keynote for the International Motor Show Germany. Well, that is something that I worked on. But more on that later. Why don't we just take a look at the most obvious changes and maybe f some, some future predictions first. See what I just did there? I put on a hoodie. Because that is one of the few options that we get in terms of clothing. But we've seen a lot more in the Matrix Awakens demo. So much more. There's actually like a hundred thousand different characters that we've seen. Now, not all of them have different clothing, but, but some had some headpieces, even some accessories. This is getting pretty exciting because here's my theory. I think some of them are gonna make it back into the MetaHuman Creator. I have no inside scoop, but I really hope they do because we need more. We just, we just need more. You could get creative with materials and you could also take existing models and kind of tweak the rig to fit what we had before. I've seen some fantastic showcases from other YouTubers and creators on this platform that have put them into like custom designed clothing and body armor. And I'll leave some tutorial links. I think I'll even make a playlist with all kinds of helpful MetaHuman videos for you to check out. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. Now here's a quick side note. What did I actually mean when I said we've seen 100,000 different MetaHuman characters? Well, this kinda is it. They minted 100,000 different NFT MetaHuman characters for you to buy. The initial release is already over. They've already all, all 100,000 of them have been sold for a minimum of 50 US dollars equivalent, which is kind of crazy. And I think Keanu Reeves agrees because this is what he had to say on the topic of NFTs. Did you guys see the Matrix NFT thing? You know, they can't be copied. That are easily reproduced. <laughs> well, but they're not the same. You can right? keep scrolling and there's seemingly no end in sight. Think of NFTs what you will. I think they're here to stay. As much as I hate to admit it, they're probably gonna stick around for the future. And well, if you wanna get yourself an, a MetaHuman NFT, I guess Nifty would be the, the platform to do it on. Just as a little, little side note. I think at this point in the video, it's a good idea to take a look and step back eight months ago to see where we've actually come from. Who knows, maybe some of the features that I wished for have already been implemented. I put the same glasses on, like, I, I just take a model of these glasses. Ooh! You know what? We've seen glasses now. We've seen glasses on MetaHuman characters. Like, from Epic Games, not in the creator right now. Two different styles of frames that I noticed, maybe, maybe three. Also, surprisingly easy to do if you wanted to put some glasses on these characters yourself. Now, here's an interesting part. Look at that. The head is so big. If you look in the mirror, heads... I mean, they kinda are that big? Okay, I was wrong. I was fooling myself. Some heads kinda are that big. But guess what? Past me was wrong. They addressed this. We have a slider now. Heads aren't always that big. Here's how you use it. You just scale the head. My intuition didn't fail me. That head was too big. You can scale it now. It's, it's that easy. It's just one slider. Problem solved. Yeah, there we go. Some of these still don't have LEDs for like the the lower level LEDs. Um, for example, the the Abdu buns, the the haircut that that, that I've been using for so long, um, still technically experimental. Now, hair color. You can go really, really, really custom now and enable hair dye. That's cool. I'm gonna turn the saturation all the way up. There you go. 
Look at that, you got pink hair now. That's crazy. You wanna go for a purple mustache? Well now you, you actually can. We got these new and improved shorts now. They look really good. I can just turn these lights around. And that brings me to another thing that has changed since then. The environments. There's so many more environments. And you're probably gonna recognize some of them from the... Well, the Matrix demo, I should say. Because I think these three down here are heavily inspired by... Well... You know. The city. So here we are. On the rooftops of the Matrix Awakened City. Now, what else do we have? We also have Downtown Night over here. Let me just turn that on real quick. Turn these lights around so you can see what kind of effects this has on the environment. There we go. Underpass night up here. We have a little bit more of a like tungsten lighting. There's a couple more. There's also like red lantern, which I which I could try to match maybe. Except I can't. This one is called Moonlight, which kind of gives you like a bluish tint. Then we got our good old friend tungsten lighting up here. Then we have a nice flickering campfire lighting. Then of course we still have our very cool silhouette mode which almost makes me feel fake by comparison. Okay, now let's talk about some limitations that I'm very well aware of. That all the options I have, like you can't make it crazy. You can't even make it look like my nose. I gotta tuck that you can make it look like my nose. They don't have my nose. They don't have my eyes. They don't have my eye distance. My head is too big. Okay, that has been addressed. But all these sculpting features, they are all still kind of in the early access phase that I got to experience even in April. And that hasn't changed. No. Huge, huge disclaimer. You can't. I I'm gonna make this as clear as I possibly can. You can't make exact replicas of people with metahuman creator unless they already kind of look like a metahuman themselves there i said it i want to make this loud and clear this is not a tool to recreate people directly this is a tool there's that was made with the goal in mind to make plausible humans that are fully rigged, have beautiful hair grooms, and are just usable out of the box in various different levels of details that can be scaled up to crowd size or like single character on the highest level with ray tracing and whatever you need. MetaHuman Creator is not a cloning tool. But funnily enough, even knowing all the limitations of the MetaHuman Creator, there was one project where I had to just throw all of that out of the window and still try as hard as I possibly could to recreate a existing and well-known human being as faithfully as I could. And that's something I want to talk about now. Welcome to my Instagram, there's nothing to see here. Except Gemma Styles, which I am apparently still not following. But I'll, 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 I'll change that now. All right, here we go. Following seven people now. Your voice, I can I can still hear Hi, it I'm Gemma sometimes. Style. Okay, so let's have a look at this post here. Hello, I'm Gemma, and this is what I've been up to lately. Don't you just love vertical video? I love vertical video. This is Gemma Styles. Gemma Styles has over 7 million followers on Instagram, and Gemma Styles became an avatar, aka a metahuman, for BMW's iVision Circular. Guess who has two thumbs and sustainability and the launch of their new concept car? And it's been interesting. That's me in the voiceover booth. And then I did something else completely new. There we go. She did performance capture for metahumans. Made a friend who covered me in lots of dots, and then that let cameras track me as a live action app. Yes, that is an iPhone. And yes, we were using the Unreal Engine Live Link app to get our performance capture data streamed into Unreal and captured in Unreal. Even though we had the great help of Target 3D, who cleaned up their performance capture data and uh, just, just, yeah, it's a, it's an entire thing. Okay, so that's a professional performance capture studio avatar including that lovely face camera which there you can see it again that's lifelink 
right here. That's an iPhone. That's very flattering. This is what they call a T-pose. That's a T-pose. If you didn't know, to calibrate the cameras. And then you can see me moving around. Here I look a bit like a cartoon skeleton, but the end product is oh, yeah. me and Joytopia. Talking about how companies, including BMW, need to step up in tackling the climate crisis. And I'll show you more. But Joytopia is kind of crazy. Joytopia was this huge world of colorful characters and like an entire experience in itself. Christoph Waltz, the, the Oscar winning Christoph Waltz, voiced a fox, a little fox in Joytopia. Hey, hey, yes, it's me down here. Your extraordinary talking fox. And Hans Zimmer did some like sound design for BMW. How do I come out with the sound of the future? Of course, it's an impossible thing to know. Did I forget to mention Coldplay? They had a live Coldplay concert in that world, and that was the exact same world we took performance captured Gemma styles into. You can visit the virtual environment online. And I'll also have a link to the keynote event in my video description, separate from the playlist. So I guess it's time for me to show you how I actually get started. Hey, this is me coming to you after I did the edit, and I think I'm gonna have to stop myself really quick, because... You know what, I'm, I'm just gonna play the video very blurred and at a much faster rate in this top corner because this was honestly getting way too long and I also kind of said too much. I signed an NDA and I'd have to bounce this off so many parties to get written permission to use whatever I just would have told you about very minute production details. So I'm not gonna do that right now because it's Sunday and I kinda wanna get this video out soon. Let's just say I'm gonna save that for part three of the metahuman journey, but there's more to come, I'm sure. It's not even officially out yet. We haven't seen a, like an official usable release of the Unreal Engine 5. What I'm gonna do instead is read some of your comments and I guess say, say thank you for over 2000 subscribers since I released the last video. I read all my comments and I try to answer your most burning questions even if they've been answered time and time again. I think I'm just gonna pick out a couple really fun comments that stood out to me and uh, here we go. It kind of looks like Chino Moreno, the vocalist from Deftone. I thought you were Luke, wow guy, Smith from Bungie. Vosh? Are you from Finland? You sound like you're from Finland. Um, no I'm not. That's Takemura. You remind me of Notch. Wow, Neanderthals didn't go extinct after all. Foggy Nelson in the Daredevil show. Could be enough play. He bye. The long lost cousin of Jason Momoa. How did you make your photo overlay? I answer this one a bunch of times. And um, you can search up a program called Pure Ref. I'm gonna have it in the description also. So yeah, if you have any questions, advice, or you just wanna tell me what I remind you of, then uh, feel free to leave a comment. Because I'm also heavily invested in augmented and virtual reality. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, you can subscribe right here. It's free. Also, there's gonna be a couple videos that the algorithm might think you could be interested in. All right, see you in the next one. Hopefully not eight months from now, but you never know. Until then, I'm Timo Helmers, and I hope you have a wonderful day.